Hello there, quick look on the um, Kobo Vox. This is, a uh, bought this yesterday, um, this is in the United Kingdom, a review, so this is from the United Kingdom. Got it from Dordrecht Smiths, and um, got it home. One, obviously, um, I also own a, uh, a e-ink Kindle, so I've got several e-ink um, books to uh, move over. Uh, I had quite a lot of trouble getting the Kindle app to be found so I could install it. On the Kobo Vox, their store is a thing called Getjar, and on Getjar it is not listed. Um, I had a look on um, there's the Amazon App Store, and you can download an app called the Amazon App Store app, and from that you should be able to be able to go and get the Kindle. Unfortunately, the Amazon App Store is from um, Amazon.com, so if you're in the UK, you cannot install anything from it. So again, fail to get the Kindle. So what I ended up doing. I did get a, um, an app on the Getjar uh, store, which was a app where you can load apps, load and get rid of apps basically. And what that will allow you to do is um, you'll you'll be allowed to browse your drive on your Kobo Vox to go and find um, like a download. You can put things in a download folder, then you can manually install them. Um, and there you go, so that's what I did. I went on the internet, I found the um, Kindle app on the internet, downloaded it, moved it over from my computer uh, via USB over to the downloads folder, and then used that little app to install it. Anyway, blah, 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 long story short. We now have the Kindle running on the Kobo Vox. So, all cool and groovy. So let's just show you, the main reason I'm interested in it is because of children's books and because it's gone colour, I can now look at children's books. So um, let's click on this guy here. So this is a, um, a book called Monkey and Croc. And you turn, this is, uh, I've changed my uh, Kobo into um, landscape mode. So I click on the side and you can see how this is constructed. Um, you do have two pages, but they're side by side. Um, that's how we're going to display it if we do this in landscape mode and just tap on to get a new page and I have to say very responsive looks very very colorful very nice and uh, I'm going to say over the overall works really really well um, yeah so just get you through the book basically all colorful and groovy and great um, yeah very nice um, being a uh, a non Amazon hardware device like the ink ink thing, it's quite easy to zoom in on images. You can just double tap, and you can then pinch to zoom and zoom in, and have a look around and see what we're looking at here. Like this guy's down here, or his face is over here. Yeah, you can zoom in and zoom out like that. And uh, yeah, I would have to say that um, it is rather good actually. Um, yeah, quite impressed. So. That's a quick view of one of the children's books that uh, works well in landscape mode. I'm going to make some more videos. I'll show you one that's got... This doesn't have live text, this one. This one, all the text that's on it is actual pictures. If I zoom right in, you can tell that if I go right, right, right in. There you go. Right in. That is as far as I can go, actually. But that looks quite pixelated here. So these are... This isn't live text. So when you use your Kindle app, you can't change the text and change the size on this one. These are just a series of pictures. Um, yeah, so that's uh, that's that really, and that will do that, I believe, and that covers that one. Yeah, so yeah, there you go. So um, basically, a quick look at the uh, Kindle app running on the uh, Kobo Vox in England. A um, bit of a story about how we got it installed, and that sort of covers it. So um, look at some more books in a moment, and uh, back in a sec.